So today we have an unboxing of a new product that uh, I think is going to be amazing. And we'll start right now. And it's uh, from Harbor Freight. This is the items or the item that I'm going to use because I'm going to start knife making, which I've already started. So I do have my first knife reveal coming soon. Um, so let's get started. Mind you, this was $34. Pretty cheap. Not bad. So let's see what we have. Okay, so today we have the Drill Master 6 inch cutoff saw. $34 at Harbor Freight. Let's check it out. We got uh, instructions, which I do recommend reading, but it's a chop saw. On, off, cut, change the blade. Simple. The tool to change what it looks like to change the blade. And it comes with an extra, or the, not extra, the mount. So when you put on the blade, which I also have Hercules blades from Harbor Freight as well. Okay, these were only $9.94 or something like that. That goes in the center of the blade, which I'll show you right now. So this piece right here will go in the center to hold it down like that. Or maybe it's this side. Yeah, this side. Just like that. And then it mounts right on this way, which you'll see. And then we're going to do a cut test. So here we go. Small, it's not huge. I'd say this is about 13 inches long by maybe 8 inches wide. Look at this. This is not bad. The guard looks, it looks like a PUBG helmet. If you take a look at it closer, this is the visor thing that goes up. Bringing games into this. Alright, so there's your mount right there. And then you have to take the guard off to get to the mount, which is great. Uh, let's see. I'm going to open up one of these bad boys. So I take one of these cutoff blades, which is two times longer lasting cuts. So that's pretty cool. You can see that. Nice. Take the blade and slide it right in here. After we lift this piece. There we go. See, this is where you need directions. Alright, so I'm going to take this piece. So when you get it, it's set up for 5 eighths. Oh yeah. So now we go to our trusty tool. Which is this bad boy. Alright, and this has the two little marks here. Pull this back. Nice tighten. That's it. Then it's ready to go. We're going to unravel the wire here. Our angle adjustment, and this is our, this right here, is our clamp to hold the metal, which is not the greatest thing I've ever seen. So we're going to get a piece of metal right now. It's a square and round stock, so let's see if uh, this is too big for it. Let's just cut off a small piece if I don't want to ruin it. And the thread thing. See that? Put the thread thing on there. Start tightening. Yeah, that's 
Itself. And then if we look, we got, we can see if we can go a little bit further down. Okay, so you have to, because the head is hitting when we put it down. So if you see here, this hits right on can't go down so you probably can get only away with get away with only about a one inch and a half maybe instead of this two inch so all you gotta do that's the case flip it over make sure you align with it we're pulling this back and now we're gonna screw it tight That wobble is real. So, I mean, it cuts no problem. No problem whatsoever. This is, like I said, a little shake, a little wiggle to it. That's the motor itself, the way it's mounted. Um, but it cuts really good. And uh, we can see the cut right here. It's a little hot, so please be careful when you do this at home. And uh, pretty good. So I'll be using that for my knife making. So there it is, folks. Um, the Harbor Freight Drill Master 6 inch cutoff saw for square stock, round stock, and of course, flat stock. All right. Take it easy, everybody. And we'll see you on the next open box because I'm building a knife making shop and this is going to be beautiful. So stay tuned.